بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ٹو ٹوڈیز ویڈیو لیسن ان دس ویڈیو لیسن یو ول اسٹڈی نیویگیشن ود ان ایکسل اسپریڈ شیٹ ایڈنگ اینڈ ایڈیٹنگ ڈیٹا ود ان اسپریڈ شیٹ فنیشنگ اینٹریز اینڈ ڈیلیٹنگ اینٹریز لیٹ اسٹارٹ آر ٹوڈیز ٹاپک navigation within excel spreadsheet how you can navigate or move within your spreadsheet from one cell to another cell from one column to another column and from one row to another row there are some ways these are very simple and easy you can use your mouse you can also use arrow keys You can use control key and arrow keys. You can also use control key and home key for navigation. Page up and page down keys. You can use alt key with page up and page down key. So let's demonstrate. Now, if you want to move from this cell before to any other cell use mouse by just clicking in your desired cell if you want to move to cell f7 click here and you can move from one cell to another cell now using arrow keys you can use left right up and down arrow keys in your spreadsheet to move you can use all four arrow keys to move in your desired direction using up arrow key you will move upward using left you will move to the left using the right arrow keys you can move to the right side and using down arrow key you can move to the down cells If you want to the last cell in this column select control and down arrow key and if you want to move to the last cell on the right side press control and right arrow key to move quickly to your desired cell to move to the top cell you can select control and press the up arrow key and similarly to come to the cell a1 press control and left arrow key now let us see the use of page up and page down The row number 13 is the last visible row here on our screen. To move to the next row that is row number 14, you can use the page down button from your keyboard. Now, to move to row number 1 or cell A1, we can use page up from our computer keyboard. Now, Let us study the use of Alt key with page up and page down button. Here on the screen you can see the columns A, B, C, D, E, F and G. This column G is the last visible column. And if we want to move to the next column, we can use Alt key with page up. Here we move to the next h column so alt plus page up will move you to the invisible column on your screen similarly if you want to come back to the first column press alt and page down key now control key and home key If you are anywhere in your table and want to come to cell A1 just simply press control key and home key 
from your keyboard and you will move to cell A1 in this manner. If you are anywhere in the table, you can use control key and home key to move to cell A1. Moving to the next topic, adding and editing data within a spreadsheet. For this, you can type the data directly in a cell. You can type the data in the formula bar and you can use copy and paste function. Let's demonstrate. Now we will demonstrate how we can add or edit data in a cell. Here select any cell you want to add data and then simply type your data into the cell. Here I select another one and make some changes. This is how you can type data directly into the cell. Now you can type data in formula bar. Select any cell you want to make changes or edit or add data and then go to formula bar and type your data in the formula bar. Here you can see changes you want or made. Now another way is to copy and paste your data. Select the cell you want to copy data from by right clicking on the cell and select the menu. This highlighting border shows you the selected cell. Click on the cell and now you have options of copy here you can use control C also from your keyboard. Copy the data and place it anywhere and then control V or simply select from this menu. This is how you can add, edit your data in the table. Moving to the next topic that is deleting entries. You can use delete key and the cross mark near the formula bar. Now if you want to delete or erase the data from any cell, select a cell, insert or type some data and then simply you can use delete key to delete the data. Now press the delete button from your keyboard and data is deleted. Another way is using the cross mark near the formula bar. Here is the cross mark. Click on it and data will be deleted. These are two simple ways of deleting data. The last topic of the day is finishing entries. What to do after you insert or type data? You can use enter key, tap key, arrow keys, clicking on another cell and clicking on the check mark above near the formula bar. Here is the last topic of our today's lesson finishing entries. Select any cell and enter data. Now as you press enter key from your keyboard your data enters and you move to the next cell. Another way is using tab keys. You can use tab keys to finish entries into a cell. Next is arrow keys. 
you can use up down left and right arrow keys to finish entries into the cell you can finish simply by clicking into another cell and here is the check mark near the formula bar you can use this check mark to to finish entries into the cells